things of God. Hey. He said, in recovering of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised. Some of us been bruised, been hurt. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've been hurt. We've been stopped on. We've been walked on. We've been pushed aside and cast out. But the word of God, the gospel of Jesus Christ, is coming to you today to let you know that he can heal you of all bruises. And then he says to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Today is the acceptable year of God. Amen. You don't have to be found. You don't have to be captivated. And some of us are sitting in the house of God captivated by these. Right. Amen. Sitting in the house of God, go to church on Sunday, but have no peace. That's all you do, just a church member. But God said, I want to give you something better than just being a church member. He said, I want to dwell in you. I want to live in you. I want to make a difference in you. The Bible says that you put difference between the clean and the unclean. That you put difference between what went holy and what is not holy. Amen. But the word of God will dwell in you richly and give you what you need to sustain you. Amen. Second Thessalonians, the second chapter. Who hammers the in the 13th verse? It says, but God has from the beginning chosen you to salvation through sanctification of the spirit yeah. and belief in the truth. And what is truth? Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. The only way to get to truth is to get to Christ. That's it. That's right. It's through Jesus Christ. And the only way, everybody talking about going to heaven, the only way that you're going to make it to heaven is that you do it God's way. The way the word says do it. That you lay aside every weight. And the sin that so easily beset, that so easily get next to you. And that you run with patience. The race that is set before you, looking unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. And because the anointed one has come, amen, yes, he did come, yes, he did die, but he didn't stay dead. He resurrected, he was risen from the dead on the third day. He's sitting on the right hand of the Father, and because he is the Son of God, we do not, we do not have to be held captive in this life. It's full of trouble. Oh. Trouble's going to come your way. Oh, no. You might be cast down, as the word says, yeah. but you will not be destroyed. Yeah. Yeah. If you are in Christ, you will never be destroyed. The young folks have this old saying, the weevils wobble, but they don't fall down. Yeah. Amen. But the word of God says you can be like that tree planted by the rivers of water. Yeah, Amen. Right. When a storm comes, you, the storm may beat on you, but you will not fall. That's right. He will keep you from falling. Now unto him that is able to keep you, the anointed one, the Christ, the Son of God. He's able to keep you from falling. You can stand strong and stand firm in the word of God. The scripture says, having done all to stand, stand therefore. Having your loins girt about with truth. Heaven with a breastplate of righteousness. Heaven your feet sharp with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Heaven the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God. And the word of God is quick and powerful. It's sharper than any two-edged sword. It's the end of the divine of the son of a soul and spirit and joy of power. The word of God is the discerner of the thoughts and the intent of the heart. The word of God knows what you're thinking. The word of God understands what you're going through. The word of God is. The anointed one is able to deliver you and to keep you from falling. So every yoke that got you bound, all you need is the anointed one that can destroy the yoke of alcoholism, the yoke of fornication, the yoke of adultery, the yoke of smoking, the yoke of dancing, the yoke of whoremonging, the word. Get married no more. They, they call themselves married.
married, but they don't get married. Oh, Jesus. They just live together, then they say, that's my husband. Amen. Amen. But God called us to holiness. That's right. Holiness. Holiness could become thy house, oh Lord, this house forever. Yes. Amen. And God is requiring, the scripture says there's a requir there are certain yes. requirements. What make us think that we can be called by the name of God and not abide by the requirements that the Bible speaks yes. that we're supposed to walk towards yes. and be part of? Yes. And because of the anointing, everything that has us bound, yes. it will be destroyed. It shall be destroyed because yes. of the anointed one, Christ Jesus, our Lord. Yes. Gracious Father, we thank you for your word. Thank you. We thank you for the anointed. Yes. We thank you for your anointed one, the Son of God, yes. the King of Kings, the true Lord of Lords, the great I Am, yes. who has come to destroy the yokes that has the people by the scripture declares whom the son set free is free indeed oh God set us free on tonight set us make us free in the name of Jesus we pray and we thank you and give you the glory in Jesus name amen if there is one on tonight that desires prayer you have some things that have had you bound yoked up caught up yes cause some hindrances in your life to cause you not to walk fully as the scripture says to walk circumspectly not as fools redeeming the time for we're living in evil days the anointed one is here to destroy every yoke that got you back every yoke every burn that 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 seems like it won't let you loose. The anointed one is here to destroy every yoke. If there is one on today that desires prayer, amen, the altar is for you. you